One Micronesia podcast is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Half a day, Mogathin and Yagwe. Welcome to another episode of the One Micronesia podcast. And in this one, man, I am so honored to have these guys. Well, there's two of there's four of them, but today I could only speak with only two of them. But these guys make up uh, a great uh a, a, a great band, a great a cappella group, and uh, they're here to, to speak on behalf of their the other two who uh, couldn't make it today on the interview. So with me today, I do have Mark Harmony, a Marshallese a cappella group based out of Springdale, Arkansas. Uh, and I do have with me here, I do have Matthew and RC. Guys, thank you so much and welcome to the show. Yo, thanks for having us, man. Yes, sir. Just about four or five days ago, you guys released your first ever music video for your song called We Up. We're going to talk about that coming up in, in, in just a little bit here in the podcast. But when we kick off the podcast, we always want to get to know um, our interviewee. So let's start there. Uh, and let me start with uh, Matthew. Uh, t- tell us more about you. Well, as many or I'm pretty sure everyone knows that's probably going to see this. Like, my name is Matthew. Um, I'm 20 years old. I was born and raised in Clement Falls, Oregon. Uh, I was probably the only growing up. I was the only Marshall East kid in my school. So. It was definitely different when I moved here to Springdale in 2013. It was like a whole new world. And I was surrounded by other kids that could actually understand a little bit of what like, it's like to be me. And where I grew up, like growing up in the States, like I wasn't growing up as an Islander alone. Um, I had a, my peers around me. And yeah. Nice. And uh, RC? Well, uh Okay, uh, my name is RC. I'm 20 years old. I was born here in Arkansas, in Springdale, Arkansas. But uh, growing up, I've always traveled around the states. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seventh grade, I was, I was officially here for like a while, and that's where I got to know. Like, cause over there in Seattle or Spokane in Washington, I was me and my sister was the only Marshallese in our school, so it was really hard for me to like uh connect with my culture so when i uh, when i moved down here it was like you know there was a lot of people that you know spoke the language that i you know i wanted to learn uh most of them like you know growing up so let's talk uh tell us more about uh, the other two that couldn't make it to the interview today oh man reagan i'll go with the right i'll start with reagan you can explain kai <laughs> <laughs> Him and him and Kai are kind of like the twins, the duo of the group. So, <laughs> but Reagan, um, Reagan's the the youngest of us. He's um, he's probably like got the most powerful vocal, um, and he's really good at articulating the words he sings. Um, he's 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 a he seems very like stubborn, but he's a he's a real softy, and um, he's actually a really funny guy. Once you get to meet him. Nice. And talk about um, who was the last one? Cairo. First of all, I'd like to say he's very talented, very skilled writer. Kind of like me in a way. <laughs> he's more smarter, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's very funny, sometimes always sleepy most of the time. Uh, but when it comes to music and uh, doing work with the band, like he takes it seriously. Like he, he goes, he, he uh, puts his all in like you know um i know you guys talked about and you both mentioned it uh that you know you, you both come from before moving to arkansas you, you both were at um communities where you you felt like you were the only marshallese um so how was it you know growing up um as a young micronesian out there in the states so i i grew up in a small town in oregon it's like borderline california and oregon it's called Klamath falls it's like an hour away from medford um and I remember growing up like half my life, I believed I was half Mexican. Like <laughs> I just, I just thought I was half Mexican. <laughs> I, I played soccer. I start, I was like getting, becoming one with the culture and everything. So I was doing the right things, but for their like, not for my culture. It was a different, like, not for my roots. So I was just kind of like, oh, I kind of, it was a real eye opener once I moved over here in 2013. It was like, oh, so this is who I am. <laughs> That's awesome. And RC, yeah. how, how, how about you? That was actually the same for me because, yeah, growing up, I've never really, you know, was I never, I wasn't really connected to my roots, uh, to my culture. 
as much as I am to like right now nowadays. Uh, growing up, it was just like I didn't feel like I was different from everyone else because uh, that's the environment that I got used to like real real fast. But once I moved down here, it was like a really different like my uh, everyone had like a different mindset, different way of like uh, like uh, showing their culture, and you know, it's like I don't know. It was like really, yeah, it's an eye opener for me. So you pretty much when you moved to Arkansas, everything you kind of just literally just fit in, and yeah, everything was, just went from there. Mm-hmm. Like the missing puzzle piece. There you so go. Was- awesome. And um, and then you know, amongst I, th- I think before and I've been I watched a couple of uh, videos on YouTube about you guys, and one of the, the the big ones is you know, I know Voices Rising did a great and amazing job with the. The BTS and the 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 document the the, the mini docu- documents uh, documentaries that they did on you guys, but you guys actually um you guys actually uh, performing out there as well as performing on TV. So wow, how is it? You know you, you know talking about you know being a, a Marshallese and 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 wanting to rep your your culture and your people and then having been called to uh, perform on TV. How is that feeling? Oh. Uh. It was definitely new um, <laughs> being called to do it on TV, like yeah. live television, um, especially an acapella piece, because me, me I'm a, like I'm an instrument based musician. Like I'm based off my in, the instruments I play and the lyrics I write. Um, it's not really vocal on my end, but going up there with these three, like it just I just knew it was going to be fun. So. I, I, there's really not no worry in the world once they ask. I was like, okay, let's do it. Oh, and RC, how's that experience for you? Like in front, you know, people are watching from, you know, after it's going to go on YouTube and then millions of people are going to watch. But like just that, just that day going live and your community is watching, especially the Marshall East community. How was that? Um, was it, was it, was it more pressure? Like, did you feel a lot of pressure? Like, oh, I don't want, I don't want to mess up because, you know, we're here and we're repping. How was that feeling for you? Yeah, I was fine. To be honest, I was I was like, as long as I'm with these guys, I'm I can call you know we can conquer the whole world. Like, I feel like I, feel, I still feel like I can do we can do anything. The thing that scared me the most um, about being there was really just the camera, like the idea of a camera being pointed at me, <laughs> or at me, anyways. Like, I don't know, I'm nervous doing this. Like, like getting on, I was nervous, but as we're talking, I'm getting comfortable. It's like. <laughs> that's that's what's up man uh so man so that's that's awesome we got to know a little bit about you guys talk about how it is growing up as a micronesian kid out there in the states talk about your performance on tv your reactions how you felt man that's awesome and we're gonna take a break right now but when we come back we're gonna talk about mark harmony mark is a- an acronym for something we'll find out what that is coming up after this you're watching the one micronesia podcast being brought to you by docomo pacific it is better together Need a new phone? Trade in now and get up to $500 off our best 5G devices. Trade in your older phone in any condition and step up to better savings and speeds only our 5G network can provide. Check out our website and catch up on the best mobile experience. Trade in now. Docomo Pacific, better together. Building on the past, we at Docomo Pacific Business believe in helping businesses move forward and together, changing the way we get things done to make you and your company reach your highest potential. Trust in our commitment to bring you the best solutions for all your business goals. We are Docomo Pacific Business. Let's work better together. Hafadeh, Mogasin, and Yakwe. We're back here with the One Micronesia podcast, and here we go. We talked to, we got to know them just a little bit. We got to know the other two that, that did not make it to the interview today. I hope you know down the line, maybe they put up another music video. We'll get our all four of them on the podcast again, and maybe you know have them do uh, you know do a track or something. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll do that. That's coming up later on in the year. But we're still here with uh, Matthew and RC uh, guys. Let's get to it. Um, Mark Harmony. When I first heard the word Mark Harmony, I thought it was a dude named Mark who harmonized, found out that there was four, there was four young, talented, um, uh, young, talented uh, guys who are doing this. So I'm like, whoa, okay. So now I'm like, okay, well, what does Mark did was, is Mark the guy who, 
who, who brought them together. Like who's Mark? Like a whole the, this whole time. I've never known what Mark stood for until seconds ago while I was watching one of your documentaries that uh, Voices Rising put together. I'm like, that's what Mark is. <laughs> I did not figure that out. So let's get to let's start there. What does Mark stand for? Uh, Mark is an acronym for all four of the first letter of his, letters of our name. So I'm Matthew. So I'm the M. This is an Aussie. Cool. Say. And then R. And then R. For Reagan and K for Cairo. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. So let's talk about the roles. Uh, so what roles do, do each of you play uh, when it comes to the arrangement of vocals or, or or pretty much like when you guys are performing, like, okay, you already know, like, okay, uh, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing that part and stuff like that. So, you know, how does that play out when you guys are performing? Before we start our own rendition of a song, we just throw it, we just jot down some ideas that uh, we might, you know, like like to perform and then usually come up with some like background vocals like uh, ad libs and stuff like that whenever we're recording he's so good with the ad libs it's not even funny and like (laughs) even just like simple melodies i think we could literally lay a track down in front of him within like 10 minutes and he'd come up with the track like he'd he'd come up with the hook and melody. it's (laughs) nuts and and that's awesome and and you know you, you can hear it in um the different tracks that you guys put up um, and especially we're going to talk about uh, we up coming up in just a little bit and talk about the different uh, the, the, the verses that each of you laid down and, and the, the part that you played and it, the, what your vocal did in, in that song and how it made it come together. So we're going to talk about that coming up. Uh, before I let you guys go, uh, a couple things. Uh, tell us more about the kind of music that you guys like to perform. We, we bounce around from all, to, all different types of genres. Like I feel like we're a group, uh, a band that doesn't stick to one but like because we're also diverse our style of music is so diverse but we put them into like we try to get different types of genres different types of styles and techniques and put them into one to have this masterpiece of a dish that's like servable to like everyone in the world you know (laughs) that's such a good way to put it yeah that's literally (laughs) it (laughs) that's awesome and you know let's talk about it so how do you guys and, and I know the culture is always behind you guys. And it's it literally what it, you oh, guys yeah. are the culture. So how do you incorporate culture in your music as you guys go? I think um, just trying to understand our culture. Well, if you want to understand like anything, like if you want anything to understand you, you have to understand it. So I think just becoming like one with the knowledge of culture and like our people, just understanding everybody and seeing where they're coming from. And I think that's the way that that's the best way that we could articulate culture into our music. If you guys had the opportunity, all four of you had the opportunity to, to not remix, but remake a Marsh Lee's uh, classic, what song would it be? I think we would try to incorporate something from like long time ago. Oh, that's awesome. And, and I know you guys definitely would do a great, great job. I mean, see what you guys are doing with the songs that you guys are doing now. You guys did covers and then where you went from covers to originals. And I'm pretty sure when, when people hear and I think when given the opportunity to, to remake a classic, I think you guys will definitely uh, do an amazing job. Have you uh, heard Jumbo by Butt Up? If you, if you heard that song, they've got some like old Marshall East chants in there. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like a masterpiece. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and, and that's so cool. Like, and even incorporating uh, chants into your music, I think that's something that that will stand out and make make it Marshallese. You know, like well, somebody can mm. listen to it and hear that chant and like, oh, what they did that. So I think um, you know, incorporating chants from from the islands into songs and music is is such a beautiful thing. Because mm-hmm. it brings like you know strength. You know, it empowers people. You know, heck yeah, it motivates them, gives them energy, adrenaline, adrenaline. <laughs> 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 all right guys we're gonna take a break but when we come back we're definitely gonna talk about the song we up we're gonna talk about the music talk about the music video that's coming up after this you're watching the one micronesia podcast being brought to you by docomo pacific it's better together need a new phone trade in now and get up to 500 dollars off our best 5g devices trade in your older phone in any condition and step up to better savings and speeds only our 5G network can provide. 
Check out our website and catch up on the best mobile experience. Trade in now. Docomo Pacific, better together. Building on the past, we at Docomo Pacific Business believe in helping businesses move forward and together, changing the way we get things done to make you and your company reach your highest potential. Trust in our commitment to bring you the best solutions for all your business goals. We are Docomo Pacific Business. Let's work better together. Hafiday, Mogatin, and Yagwe. We're back here with One Mike Ninja Podcast. This episode, such an amazing talk so far. We're talking with uh, Matthew and RC, uh, two of the members of a Marshallese acapella group out in Springdale, Arkansas. They're called Mark Harmony. So, guys, let's talk about it. The music, you guys did the music and then shot a music video. We Up is up and uploaded on uh, YouTube. So, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Just uh, look up Mark Harmony, We Up, and it's there. It's currently uh, about to hit 4,000 views, and I'm pretty sure it's going to go up more because it just got released uh, just this week. So as the days go by, the views are going to go up because it's such an amazing and uplifting song. So let's talk about it, guys. Um, how did this awesome song came to be? Okay, first, let me go back to the very beginning. Um, I remember being on the Mark Harmony Instagram account, and I was just scrolling through. And then Voices Rising, their Instagram account, contacted us. And I had opened it, and I brought up the idea. To, I, I was responding. I was talking to Clay. We were talking about – he was telling me about the idea of Voices Rising. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, literally, that's everything we want to be part of. Like, And I brought the idea up to the guys, and they said that they were 100% all in. And so then it was just a waiting game. And I feel like that's – Basically, what this entire project has been, it's been a test of patience, and it's been like a yeah. really like a real waiting game. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I think a year and a couple months later, after they contacted us, we finally met them in person. We only, believe it or not, we only had like I'd say a week and a half to like ten days to write the song, rewrite "Be Mine," record the song, re-record "Be Mine." And, and then record. shoot the music video. And then at the same time, we had to do interviews. So we had to squeeze all of that in there. And it was all so natural. So when they came up to us and they wanted us to write a song about just being yourself, being an islander that lives in the States, that one hit home for all of us. <laughs> and so we were ready to go. We jumped the gun. We we're like, all right, that's right. And we just kind of expressed ourselves as islanders in the States subconsciously, too, because like the whole thing just kind of made sense. Mm. And you got to constantly tell people to be like, you know, proud of who, uh, who like, you know, who you are. Mm -hmm. I was watching the the behind the scenes uh, that uh, Voices Rising put up of, you know, how how things went with you guys, the recording process, the shooting process. And it looked, it, from what I'm seeing, I mean, it, it looked it looked like fun. I think it was fun. <laughs> it was like, I think really yeah. fun. <laughs> it wasn't it even was stressful. Never, <laughs> like, there was never a moment where we all just were like, you know, freaking out and be like, oh my gosh, you know? I think there was a moment in time where I was getting a little bit um, fresher with myself, really just because I knew I could sing like a certain part, but I just kept goofing off. And like, I was like, oh my gosh, well, I need to stop playing. And then the guys were just like, ah, it's okay, we're having fun. And it's like, everyone was just having fun. I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And let's talk about the music video. How was that experience for you guys making this your first ever music video, you know, as a group and as individuals, uh, you know, how, how was that uh, experience for you guys? It was honestly like surreal, you know, it didn't feel real to me. I was just like, you know, I'm really, you know, happy to be part, a part of, like, you know, part of this uh, whole project and this whole movement towards, uh, you know, bringing up our culture. For me, it was definitely exciting um it was a lot of fun for sure okay. it was a lot of fun <laughs> but i was so awkward in the beginning man like you don't even understand like just the, the cameras man i was just like yo this is not like i'm not dancing in front of a camera <laughs> and they're just like dude you can do it you can dance for your camera they had, they had, they had like, me do dancing. the choreography for it oh and nice I, yeah so we got it all down it looks really clean you know it's so weird because ever since like the music video i've just been I, I just dance now. Like, <laughs> there you go. I mean, talk about dancing. I can't even get the simplest dance on TikTok down. So 
uh, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the we up dance so much easier than any there other you, dance. You guys should do that. Uh, do a we up uh dance challenge on TikTok. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know, get get the fans to to like you I know. You. Yeah. <laughs> but you man, that's so cool. I mean, we talk about being fun. And also talk about being your first. I mean, you guys were shooting everywhere. You were next to like a supermarket. You were in the middle of the road. You were in like where the there was a waterfall scene. There was there was I believe the guy said four scenes. You guys shot at four scenes. That's crazy to be traveling and shooting. Uh, so that experience must be uh, pretty epic for you guys. Oh yeah, it was so much fun. And there was like the craziest part is we I could I know for sure we had more ideas, but we just couldn't fit all our ideas in that one music video so we're like ah dang like we had we, we were the time frame yeah, was just so frame. short but you know what that means right that means you get those ideas you can use it for the next one so now i can't wait mm-hmm. oh yeah <laughs> we were like the next one we're waiting so speaking of next uh to close out this part of the interview what's next for mark harmony so for sure we're going well okay not for sure there's a high percentage like there's a good chance that we go to the islands this summer and we hope to see some of the people that watch this uh, out there, the islands. Um, but I know that we are currently recording an album. Um, just playing down, some, just playing around some tracks and writing some lyrics. Nothing too serious right now. Um, but for sure, there's a lot of work in the works. Yeah. Good to hear. I mean, like I said, like I know this is not We Up was not the, the last and final project. I know you guys are gonna put in way more songs, way more music videos, and, and just to deliver. And like I said, you guys are doing it for the culture. So I know you guys are never gonna stop. So guys, thank you so much. We're gonna take a break, but when we come back, we're gonna do the last part. Uh last messages, social media, where can people find you and all that? So we'll be back with that. You're watching the one micronesia podcast. It's being brought to you by Docomo Pacific. It is better together. Need a new phone? Trade in now and get up to $500 off our best 5G devices. Trade in your older phone in any condition and step up to better savings and speeds only our 5G network can provide. Check out our website and catch up on the best mobile experience. Trade in now. Docomo Pacific, better together. Building on the past, we at Docomo Pacific Business believe in helping businesses move forward and together, changing the way we get things done to make you and your company reach your highest potential. Trust in our commitment to bring you the best solutions for all your business goals. We are Docomo Pacific Business. Let's work better together. Half a day, Mogithin and Yagwe. You're watching the One Mike Ninja podcast. Here we go. The last part. Um, gentlemen, thank you so much. I know, like I said, I've, I've, I would have wanted all four of you guys, but unfortunately, the two couldn't make it. Uh, the two members couldn't make it to the interview today, but it's fine because as you guys are talking, I can also hear them through you, you know, because you guys are one. When you talk about an acapella group, you're talking about a group that, that knows unison, that, that comes together as one to deliver such, uh, um, uh, such a sound which is beautiful and you incorporate some Marshallese culture and that way awesomer. So guys, before we go, like I said, the video is on YouTube, 4,000 views already and counting. Uh, Instagram is popping. I know Voices Rising doing a great job with, uh, with their part of, of, of hyping up the songs. Uh, but there a lot of people, especially young uh, Micronesians from Palau to Saipan, all the way to the Marshall Islands and, and Nauru and, and, and Kiribati, they, they, they've watched you guys and now that they're asking the question, wow, if four young Marshallese guys can do what they're doing, I can do it too. They, they're feeling inspired. What motivational message would you have for them? Don't stop. Don't keep going. Honestly, the biggest piece of advice I'd give um, whoever's trying to come up and like do music and like be part of the business, I'd say... Um, Find ways to make things make sense in your own way. So again, guys, before I let you guys go, where can people go find the song? Where can people go watch the video? Where can people go follow you guys and and and, and stuff like that? Well, you can definitely watch our video on YouTube. Shout out to Voices Rising and shout out to you. <laughs> um, uh, and our social media accounts, 
we're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, for now. Um, yeah, at Mark Harmony Official. Matthew, RC, thank you guys so much. Like I said, on such a short notice, but you guys made time and squeezed me in there. So thank you so much for having me. And and man, I love the the talk that we had. And hopefully, people watching right now would we would you know like no, don't you go do it. If you're watching right now, go watch the music video and go stream the song. I'm pretty sure it's on pretty much all the music platforms that are there in the world right now. So go stream the song, watch the music video, replay it, and just support uh you know local. Uh, and support Micronesian talent because we're everywhere and you know we we can do it and we're doing it. So go support these guys. Okay, again, Matthew, RC, thank you guys so much for the time. No problem. Thanks for having us, man. Yes, sir. Awesome sauce, man. All right, guys, that pretty much uh, completes another episode of the One Micronesia Podcast. We'll catch you guys on the next one. My name is Victorious, and I got to say peace. The One Micronesia Podcast is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together.